When it comes to ever-changing environment of aviation, it is absolutely necessary to stay current on the most important actors in the business. As we enter the year 2024, we are pleased to give a thorough list of the top 10 largest aircraft manufacturers in the world at the present time. At number 10, the United Aircraft Corporation. In 2018, United Aircraft Corporation's reported revenue was $6 billion. There have not since been any figures released, though it is suspected that they are still a giant within the world of aviation and aerospace. The company has 100,000 employees, and the vast majority of its military aircraft are made exclusively for the Russian military. However, they do also supply to the Chinese army. Their first commercial plane to ever fly was the Sukhoi Superjet 100, which was a joint project with Boeing and Sukhoi. Despite the various sanctions placed on Russia by other governments in the West, the United Aircraft Corporation remains relatively unaffected and continues to sell its commercial and cargo aircraft to Western nations and companies. At number 9, the Bombardier. Bombardier is one of the most well-known names in aviation and airspace, even though it makes a lot less money than most of the other companies in this video. In 2023, the business made a total of $7.63 billion. They are a Canadian company that used to make a lot of different kinds of transportation, like trains and business airplanes. But now the company's main focus is on making business and private jets. This also makes them stand out from their competitors, who mostly design military or passenger planes. Bombardier started out strangely enough by making snowmobile. They worked their way up until they were creating and making buses, trains, airplanes, and military vehicles for the ground. At number 8, Leonardo. The most recent financial records show that the company is making $16.20 billion right now. Founded in Italy in 1948, Leonardo is one of the oldest companies on our list. There are about 50,000 people working for the company, which makes civilian, military, and helicopters. The well-known Eurofighter Typhoon fighter jet was made by this company. They are also experts in cybersecurity and work with governments and big businesses to set up computers, security equipment, and more. Leonardo even offers flight training for both their Eurofighter and helicopters that no one else does. They make satellite technologies, parts for Mars rovers, and laser emitters, just like many of the other companies on our list that make airplanes. Based near Cincinnati and boasts a small 48,000 employees, GE Aviation made a revenue of at least $22 billion in 2023. The company does not make its own aircraft, however, it supplies engines, computers, and much more to the big aircraft manufacturers. The vast majority of their revenue is derived from making engines for commercial airliners like the Boeing Dreamliner and Airbus A380. It is also their fastest-selling engine ever designed. The company is also heavily present in military side of aviation. Some of their latest and best work includes the invention of the adaptive cycle engine, which allows military aircraft to travel further, quicker, and longer. At number 6, Safran. Safran is a French company whose revenue in 2023 thus far has been $23 billion. This is a little smaller than most of the other competitors in this list, though Safran have still done pretty well for themselves, standing up to the potentially oversaturated American market. Safran is considered a world leader of navigation systems for both commercial airlines and military aircraft. The company employs around 81,000 people, making it a fairly mid-range company on this list. Most recently, Safran won a contract with Singapore Airlines to outfit their fleet of Boeing's 777-9 fleet with carbon brakes and wheels. The French Army currently uses 390 of Safran's unique M88 engines. At number 5, the Northrop Grumman. It is a well-established military aircraft manufacturer based in Virginia and sells both aircraft and weapons. The company operates and sells to over 25 Allied militaries worldwide. In 2023, the company had a revenue of $38.6 billion and over 90,000 employees. One of famous aircraft made by the company was the Grumman X-47B, the first unmanned aerial vehicle and the B-21 bomber. 
They have also begun working on a hypersonic weapons center in Maryland, a factory which sees the design, production, and correct installation of hypersonic missiles and other weapons. They also recently signed a contract with NASA to explore a fairly experimental studio apartment, complete with enough space for three aircraft, which will go into the Earth's orbit. At number four, Raytheon Technologies. Raytheon is based in Massachusetts, and their 2023 revenue was $67.8 billion. It has approximately 180,000 employees, and out of these, 60,000 are engineers. One of Raytheon's most interesting and notable qualities isn't actually the aircraft that they manufacture, but their unparalleled diversity training. The company is currently pouring its efforts into creating GTF engines with better fuel economy, as well as the creation of a hybrid engine plane which uses half electricity and half fuel to travel. They are also working on creating an efficient, sustainable aviation fuel, a form of biofuel which will be used exclusively for powering aircraft. At number 3, the Lockheed Martin. A longtime giant of defense industry, Lockheed Martin made an estimated $67.68 billion in revenue. Even in spite of the pandemic, this is still their largest year of revenue to date. Lockheed Martin is an aerospace and technology company who, as well as making aircraft, also specialize in military grade security, with around 78% of their annual revenue is derived from U.S. military. Their most famous models are the SR-71 Blackbird, the F-35 Lightning II, and the F-22 Raptor. The company has 114,000 employees and delivers approximately 500 aircraft per year. Lockheed Martin plans to continue to expand the production of the F-35, which services 13 nations' air forces. After winning a $2.5 billion contract in June 2021, despite complaints that the model is too expensive to keep running. At number 2, Airbus. Airbus is the world's biggest airliner manufacturer. They also manufacture military aircraft and helicopters, though the vast majority of their business dealings are in commercial airliner manufacturing. Their revenue during 2023 was $67.95 billion, a decrease due to pandemic. The company is largely based in France, though also has offices and production lines all over the world. The first ever digital fly-by-wire airliner plane was manufactured and sold by Airbus, hence why they are one of the best renowned companies now for making airliners. Fly-by-wire means having an electronic interface for the pilot instead of manual controls. Airbus have approximately 131,000 employees across the world. At number 1, Boeing. An American corporation that sells commercial airliner aircraft as well as weapon systems, satellites, and rockets. In 2023, Boeing had a revenue of approximately $75.7 billion and has over 143,000 employees across all locations. Unfortunately, in 2017, the 737 models were all grounded as a result of two fatal crashes. Since then, the company hasn't been on top of the airliner industry in the same way they used to be. Despite this, the company continues to push on in other areas in order to maximize revenue. With travel now picking up again after the pandemic, they are likely to continue building back their reputation. And that, guys, was the top 10 largest aircraft manufacturers in the world at the present time. Stay tuned for more interesting videos from the buzz. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.